Afternoon, James. Ah, Commissioner, I wasn't expecting you yet. Clearly. I guess it gets a quiet here for you during the day. <laughs> yes. Well, if you could persuade your friend to take down criminals throughout the day instead of bringing them all in at night. Yes, well, I can imagine being no less intimidating in the daylight. Yes, I suppose you're right. Oh, well, at least it's busier than it was before he was here. What brings you here, sir? Is it the district murders? Yes, I need to speak to you and find out more about the ghetto killings. Do you think you know something about the ghetto killings? I don't know, but uh, I'd be very surprised if you didn't. Before we took him down, he had control of the whole criminal underworld. There wasn't a single organised crime he didn't know about or plan. And although he's been here six months, I bet he knows about every single attack that's still to come. Something else you want to know, Commissioner. Yes, and uh, what thing is that? It's been a long time. My apologies, Commissioner. That's okay, sir. No harm done. Get Ivy back to her cell. Yes, sir. Shall we continue? Let's. So, what was that one thing you wanted to tell me about? So, sir, I must warn you to exercise caution. Dangerous. I know. No, it's more than that. You're labelled, sir. The Joker hasn't forgotten what you took away from him. And we both know he's not going to let you get away with that. And he can't really do much about that now, can he? No. All I'm saying is... Don't let him get in your head, because he'll never get out. Thanks for the advice, Jones. been a while. Hmm. A while indeed. I was beginning to think you had forgotten me. I'm here about... Outrageous! <laughs> you haven't even come for a catch-up. Is that all I am to you? I only exist when you need something from me. As is the way of most relationships, I suppose. We have no relationship, Joker. You are a mere acquaintance. Borderline the boundary of a foe. A foe? Intriguing. Your most feared criminal and enemy. A foe. Locked in confinement. Hmm. I must be dangerous. I'm here for you, Joker. Not the other way round. Oh, really? And how is that working out for you so far? I'm here about the ghetto killings, and I believe you know who's behind them and how I can find them. You may be right about that. You may be wrong. Eighteen people have been killed. Don't start playing games with me. Start telling me who's behind this. James. Gerald. Arthur. Why does it matter who is behind it? The act of the crime will happen whether it is the most simple or the most complex. It is the crime you are. Looking to solve, Commissioner, not the criminal. And besides, if there was someone behind it, don't you think our mutual friend would have him by now? 
We don't know who exactly. you are. Exactly. You don't know who's behind it. <laughs> Doesn't that tell you that there is probably more than one behind it? It's probably the entire syndicate, I can tell you that. And I know nothing of these killings. I seriously doubt that. You are trying to solve the wrong problem, Commissioner. I suggest you look somewhere else. I am. Which is why I'm here. How could I possibly know what's happening in Gotham when I'm locked away all by myself in an asylum on a different island? <laughs> Don't give me that. You took over Gotham's underworld long before you wound up in here. You flatter me. I bet you've got several large-scale attacks planned. This is only the first. And probably the smallest. Let me tell you. I intend it to be the only one. <laughs> you. Police as you call yourselves, you are destined to fail. You have too many rules, too many limits. <laughs> you cannot effectively do your policing because you are <laughs> restricted. Right where it counts, you get all the way to the finish line, then boom! Set in and you are stopped from performing the absolute sentence, which usually ends up stabbing you in the back a few months down the line. Now, now, now. <laughs> you, you are like a jack. <laughs> now a jack has power, he is above the normal people of society, but he is still bound by rules, rules laid out by his superiors. Now, you, <laughs> you are restricted by the rules of law, which <laughs> limits you from casting the absolute sentence rules laid out by your superiors who <laughs> are often the real criminals themselves. The queens and the kings of Gotham deciding how and what things happen. Both however remaining under the law of the Batman. The man who is not limited by your rules, your law. He can be the least responsible man in Gotham. Or he can be the most responsible. He can be whatever the people need him to be. He is a symbol of hope. He is a, a symbol of fear. Whilst he is not limited by your rules, your law. He is limited by his own. And that, that is why he is not true, true commissioner. Maybe above your law, but he is still lying to his own. Now, his freedom allows him to take down criminals and crime syndicates every day when, well, it would take you a decade to infiltrate even one. Yet, 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 like you, his rules, his law, prevents him from carrying out the sentence that would eliminate all crime. <laughs> and then you have me. <clears throat> now, unlike you, I am not limited by any rules or restrictions. I can do as I please. <clears throat> I can do whatever I want, 
whenever I want, wherever I want, however I want. Now that, that is true freedom, Commissioner. <laughs> and I will always survive. Because the only people trying to stop me are limited by rules from <laughs> truly stopping. So you call yourself freedom? <laughs> Look at me, Commissioner. Am I in chains? We are both in this cell and we both have equal opportunity to walk out of it. Now, yes, yes, you can just walk out of it, but we both know that if I try, only one of is leaving this cell. So, Commissioner, hmm. ask yourself, right now, how free do you feel? Joker. Well, I've had the good fortune of putting you behind bars. Tell me, will I not be damned if I don't send your underworld with you? Nothing to fear. <laughs> My dear Commissioner, you should be careful what you say. You have nothing to fear. speak from your mouth are not true, but your eyes, Commissioner, your, your eyes. The truth is, <laughs> you do not want to know the truth is, do you? Oh, well, well, well. You see, when someone takes something, pressures from someone, they usually try to avoid that person in order to avoid any, any effect. Cause and effect, Commissioner, that is the way the world works. When one takes something, they lose something. You take money, you lose money, you take a car, you lose a car, but you take a life. Well, well, it's just a case of which life you lose. The life of someone you love. Or your own. Which would you prefer, Commissioner? I have not necessarily taken any life, Joker. Thank 
my most torturing thing I could do to you is burn your mouth. And that will happen. Thank <laughs> you. 